What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to edit like this. Hey, hey, I'm moving slow. I should call it a day and go. I'ma pop one more pill for the road. So they say please don't leave me alone. It's a front man I already know. New mind. Alright guys, so here I am in my editing software. I use Sony Vegas 18 in case you guys are wondering. So just saying, you guys are gonna need Sapphire and BCC plugins um, for this. So um, I already actually synced all my clips and just put the velocity to where I can set it up. So my velocity that I normally use for a beginner, which is usually 6 frames to the right at 50% velocity and then go back 10 frames and then you set the marker here for 50% then go 10 frames back again and set it to normal velocity and then for the middle part set it to 200 velocity and then you get like a little slow mo like that so the presets I'm gonna be using are my friend named Tension. I'll put his link to his channel so where you can get these presets. You just have to DM him for them for the preset pack. But uh here it is. Um so I'm gonna use his impact um effect. So it's gonna look like this. So it looks like that. It's not bad. So what's cool is like, since I'm using this song, it says slow, and that thing goes slow since the velocity I put in, which is kind of cool, in my opinion. Um, so for a build-up effect, what I would do is I would go like wherever you want to start it, I would split, and then go somewhere like in the middle, add a marker. I mean a point and you and then you're gonna like zoom in a bit to like give it a, like a little stretch and then what you're gonna do is go to the end and put restore what I suggest doing is copying this and then going like this so where it stays like this for a while so like give it like a little like zoom in and out and animation like that and another thing you can do is you can go to your video effects sub and then you can go over to black and white and then you're gonna search for your black and white thing and I usually go like within like 600 or like 700 like between there and then you can keyframe it and then I suggest going like in the middle where like it does the stretch so where it zooms into the black and white and then at the end, it fades out to like normal. I mean, 0% of black and white. So just put that as 0. Like, I said, just copying this and just going you know, like this, so where it goes like a fade in. If you know what I mean. Then just copy this. 0. Um, Alright, so I should look like this. Let me put under this for you guys. If you guys want, you can make it more dark green if you're gonna use this build up. That's not bad. Alright, so now I'm gonna add my SFX. So, what I use is the Chris Pump sound effect and the Bass Voice sound effect. For a little like, like that. So now it sounds like a little bit better since there was no pump sound in this thing, in this clip. So it's gonna sound like this, which in my opinion sounds better. But basically, like whatever, if there's like a pump, like a purple, uh, purple gold pump clip, just wanna add these SFX like in like between. 
if I just made this. So like, you just put them on the marker to where it's synced. I said for the best wish, I suggest putting... You see where this big blue like, bump is? You want to sync that on the marker. So, the next velocity I'm going to show you, this is just a common one most people use. So you're going to go 5 frames forward. And then you're going to set it to 50% forward velocity. Then you're going to set the middle one to 200. And then you're going to go 5 frames back. I mean 4. 4 frames back. My bad. Sorry. So then let's just look at this. So it's like a little speed into that. So I'm gonna use Attention's uh, RGB one, and then it should look like this so far. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go into transitions afterwards, probably, I guess, just letting you know. Alright, so we're gonna add the SFX again for this. Alright, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a velocity. This is actually gonna be a new velocity I'm gonna use uh, for this one. So we're gonna go 6 frames forward. By the way, I'm counting in my head just for you guys are questioning. Put this 50% and then you're gonna go 8 frames back. And put this normal velocity, set the middle point to 200 and then it should look like this. Play, like clean to balance in my opinion. So I'm just gonna set that there, and then we're gonna use tensions purple. Alright, and that's pretty much it for the impacts, my velocity, and build up. So now I'm gonna show you transitions. So what I like to do for Transitions like this. I like to do the reverse transition. If you guys don't know what that is, you guys can check out Dickens' video on it. Um, but so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go 15 frames back at the end of your first clip. So you're gonna go 15 frames like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for in your video effects app S underscore blur markers. And then you're gonna wanna put the default one on, set the warp Y and warp X to reflect, and you're gonna keyframe the Z disk. So you're gonna go to the end of the Z disk. I mean, end of the clip for the Z disk. You're gonna set the Z disk to ice, prefer it's 0 0.600 or 0 0.6. And then you go like, at least like seven things back, and you're gonna set it to the normal, so it gets like a little zoom in. And then what you're gonna do next? Reset all velocity, and then right click, and then put this to reverse, so it goes like this. If you see, like it does a reverse zoom in. But to make it like more like better, you're gonna add default blemishes. Onto this, you're gonna set this to the same exact as this. You prefer the ending, so I put 0 0.600 and then I go a couple frames forward, like this, and then I put this at one. So then it's like this little like thing, which is kind of cool. So this next transition, I'm gonna use Creo's transitions. If you guys don't have that, I'll probably, I'll probably just give it to you since it is free. Um, in the description. So you're gonna, so what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna use, let's see. You, I'm gonna use for this one top right, RGB top right. Hey, so you're gonna go ten frames back. So. And then split the clip. 
And then now, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna add your changes in whichever one you want. Um, you have to choose A, by the way, if it says A and B. And then take out this RGB, because I only like it, I think. So, a cool little trick I found out, uh, how to like, do this faster to for your transitions, if you want to speed it up. Just go ahead and like drag it up by holding control. Put this on top of your next part for your transition. Split on the line where that ends. So that you already have this like made, so you can just add the transition. So then I'm gonna add top right B. I'm gonna take out the RGB because I don't like it. And then it's gonna be like this. There you go. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave all the stuff in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's basically how they like at it. Um well, the way I mainly kind of edit for highlights. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you didn't think this was useful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.